So if we're looking to use the oil markets um, for hedging as a, as a financial alternative to a physical delivery, for example, where you've got gas being sold on an index contract, um, may it be a, a JCC um, link contract, for example, you can use the oil markets to hedge that gas value. And what we're going to look at here is how we actually go undertake that. But before we get there, just to recap, you see what we're doing here is we're selling on a price that's associated to the price of oil because that JCC price is linked to the Brent price. Um, the value of that product can be then fixed by using the oil future where there is no gas market that's there. And as the price of the oil future rises, the physical delivery price would rise, the financial value of the future falls, and therefore you end up with a fixed price. And as the price of the oil future falls, well, the physical delivery price falls, but the financial value of the, of the future rises. So it acts as a compensation um, on that market. So if we take this example, you've agreed, a seller agrees to supply 130,000 cubic meters of LNG to Korea in August under the oil parity formula of price of LNG being 0.145 times the price of crude oil, and, and we'll use Brent for this, plus an additional $1.50. So we don't know what the price of the crude oil will be at this stage. So the seller sells the oil futures to fix the price at the current rates. So by taking the example here, what we're doing is looking at, okay, what is the value of that 130,000 cubic meters of LNG? Well, it's 2.8 million MMBTU of a regasified um, LNG. And we can use the formula of 0.145 to work out what the equivalent of that is in barrels of oil. So 2.8 million MMBTU times by our, our parity formula in here and not the actual um, difference because what we're trying to do is get a, an accurate hedge, an accurate financial hedge of this. So if we're looking at about 415,000 barrels of oil, so for a Brent contract you've got 415 contracts, one contract is about a thousand barrels. So once we've established what the amount of futures that we need to um, purchase are, or sell in this case, we're looking at, okay, the August price, the August delivery price, currently trading at $65 in this example. So the total value of the contracts at that point are about $27 million worth. Now forward value of delivery at that point of hedging You've got $65, which is our marker, times the 0.145 plus the 1.50, the equivalent of 10, well, nearly $11 per MMBTU, which is about 31 million. The fixed element of that, that $1.50, is 4.2 million. Um, so that's the difference. If we take that 4.2, 4.3 million from that 31 million there, we'll end up with this value of about 27 million. So how does the hedge actually work? You're holding, you've sold futures, so you've got an obligation to buy those back in the future, but you're also selling on the index as well. So as the price decreases, the value of the future will increase. So the cost to purchase the future to repay this sell leg, to repay the oil um, index contract, um, allows us to see as the price of the physical gas goes up, we can see the value of the financial future going down. One will offset the other, which will end up giving us the equivalent of a fixed price at $65. The same way if that oil price goes down, so that's the blue line going to the left, our, our value of the physical, if we lose $10 million at uh, $40 per barrel, well, we've gained $10 million on our financial future because we've sold it and we bought it back at a lower price. So 10 million minus 10 million equals zero. We've effectively fixed the price at $65.